And so finally, when we talk about um, automation, if you have Outlook 2010 or later, we have a feature called Quick Steps. And the beautiful thing about Quick Steps is that it fills in so many of the problems that rules represent. Uh, let me show you a couple of ideas of this. If you have a rule, the only way that rule will execute, the only way that it will forward an email, that it will categorize an email, that it will delete an email, etc., is if the idea that you threw out about that email ahead of time has been met, if those conditions and criteria have been met. And the reason that's important is because there are plenty of times when I need to categorize something, for example, as being new business. But I don't know who's going to send me an email about new business. I don't know what the wording is going to be like. I don't know what topics they're going to ask about. I don't know anything about the email as it comes in. But I know as soon as I read that email that it is, in fact, about new business. Or as another example, it's very possible that you have a project that's ongoing and you will regularly need to have a meeting about that project. Now, it's one thing to be able to set up criteria that says, oh, if the word meeting is used in the email, go ahead and do something with it automatically. It's quite another to actually see that in, in, ac in action. There are so many times that we use the word meeting that we don't actually want a new meeting. So we don't know we need a new meeting until we actually read it for ourselves in the email. Once that happens, though, it would be incredibly useful to be able to take a button and simply push a button that says, this is what it means to have new business coming in. This is what it means to, uh, to have a meeting that needs to be created, things like that. Because it's often not just a single task, right? If we got an email from Natalie Sosa that says that she wants to, um, let's see, yeah, I think we should focus on 318, right? So, okay, she's talking about March 18th as being a meeting date. Well, it's one thing to say, I'm going to reply with a meeting, which is actually a button I have at the top of my screen, and to create a meeting with Natalie Sosa for the 18th of March. It's quite another to realize that there are so many other things that I need to do as part of that process. I need to set up catering. I need to contact a couple of uh, AV specialists. There's a lot of other things that get rolled into that. And so rather than having a simple button for just reply with a meeting, I might want a button that says, I need to reply with a meeting, but I also need to create tasks to do other things along the way. And so for that purpose, I'll go to my quick steps and use the little arrow along the right-hand side to choose create new, which is a little lightning bolt with a sparkle on it. By going to create new, I can type in the name of a quick step, the name of a button that I will be pressing. And that might be something like uh, new large scale meeting, right? A large scale meeting, not just a small team meeting, but a meeting that involves executives, a meeting that involves outside clients, a meeting that involves travel, etc. Maybe this is a special type of meeting that is useful to me. <clears throat> so the first thing I'll do as part of a new large-scale meeting, of course, is I'll use the drop-down menu to reply with a meeting because the people who are talking to me will need this to be something that happens, right? Reply with a meeting. But not only will I reply with a meeting, notice I have a show options here on the right. So I can say, well, if I'm going to be replying with a meeting, the executive that I support, Steve Rogers, is definitely <clears throat> one of the attendees, in addition to anybody else who happened to be on the mailing list. The subject line, I might decide to take away from simply being a reply to instead being something like uh, meeting scheduled, colon space, and then leaving the empty space alongside meeting scheduled for me to fill in with more information. Then I'll scroll down and click on Add an Action. 
So you can see already that it's more powerful than reply with meeting because I'm able to add Steve Rogers to the meeting attendees list automatically and to change the subject line. But now in addition to that, I can use the choose action drop down menu to say that I'm also going to categorize this message as being new business perhaps or something as a critical follow up perhaps. And I'm also going to click add an action and then <clears throat> flag this message to be followed up with next week so that I remember that I need to touch base with all the attendees for that meeting next week sometime. And then I need to add an action and that action could be something like creating a task with the text of that message included so that I know that I have to complete a task that is the logistical part of setting up this meeting, the catering, the AV units, the meeting minutes, takers, etc. And one more way that using a quick step can be incredibly powerful is that I can assign it a keyboard shortcut. And so if I find myself scheduling large-scale meetings on a semi-regular basis, turning this into a Control-Shift-1 keyboard shortcut can be a really fast way of getting my job done. I'll click Finish. And now let's look at what happens when Natalie Sosa asks me whether we can have a meeting on 318. She's an outside client. We have some AV concerns, all sorts of different things. I could push the button for new large-scale meeting, but just for real, you know, educational purposes here, I'm going to my keyboard and I'm using Control Shift 1 as my keyboard shortcut. Now what happened when I hit Control Shift 1? A new task opened up. That task dumped the email from Natalie directly into the body. I'll say something like follow up concerns for 318 meeting. I'll put in a little series here. That is uh, schedule catering, meet with AV. And then I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe I'll set a due date of the 17th of March and hit save and close. What else happened? A new reply with meeting that has Natalie Sosa and Steve Rogers accounts in it. Meeting scheduled, um, you know, client specifications. And then I can specify what the location is by hitting rooms over here on the right hand side. Schedule it for a date and a time. Hit send. So now Natalie has been invited to a meeting her email has been marked as critical follow-up. Her email has been flagged as something I need to follow up ne with next week. I have a meeting on the calendar for 318, as you can see right there, that is also categorized in the same way. And if I go to my tasks, I can see clearly that I have an availability uh, for our team flag and a follow-up concerns for the 318 meeting, or I need to schedule catering, etc. And so that's why I like to call Quick Steps magic buttons, <clears throat> because as you can easily see, I have in baked into one button press or one keyboard shortcut as many steps as I need to have with a categorization, scheduling meetings, placing things into tasks, uh, scheduling follow-up calls. Any part of it can be part of your Quick Steps.